Happy Saturday. Listen to that. Just listen. So when I was on Craigslist last night, I was just looking in the free section for pianos, just to see what I found. And I found a piano just down the street for 50 bucks, or best offer. I started learning how to play the piano in middle school, I think, and then took lessons in high school for a few years. Um, after it was like clear that I was gonna stick with it for a while, my mom decided to buy a grand piano, and it was like beautiful. And I've always just loved having like real pianos to play, because I've had a keyboard my whole life, but it just... It wasn't the same practicing on it as it was with a real, you know. So I've always wanted a piano, but I didn't really think that it would be financially feasible. It says that it is in good condition, it just needs a tuning. And like, I'll pay for a tuning. So we're gonna go check this piano out. And maybe, maybe it'll be cool, maybe not. Never know. Sorry, Never know. It's a really good piano. I mean, it was $500, but still way less than you'd ever pay a store. Yeah. And it was like, had history, it was 100 years old, it was from Chicago, so I'm curious if they know much about this piano. I'm pretty sure you guys are just gonna get kidnapped. Probably. Are you not coming with us? No. Rude. What? What? Why would I go? To be the, the big intimidating man for... So you don't get kidnapped? For... For, you know, haggling purposes. Okay. So we don't get taken advantage of. We're here, but I'm not gonna take the camera in because that would be weird. So like, why are you videotaping right? this experience? But we will let you know. We're gonna get the piano, and so we're gonna need to get you to help us move it. Um, but we're just gonna push it. It'll be very easy. We're just getting money, so we'll be back in like 10 minutes. And can you then come with us, please? Yeah, we're very sure it's gonna work, right, Kenny? Yes. Yes. I mean, the sidewalks are good. The streets are fine. We'll be fine, especially with the three of us. The piano is in great shape. There are a couple keys that are stuck up in the high range, but um, I think that's fixable. And, and then it obviously needs a tuning and then it just needs to be like cleaned up because it's a little dirty, but it's like otherwise in great shape. The, the pedals were working fine. I'm so I'm excited. Ah! Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, our new piano. Ah! and we're about to roll it all the way back to our place. Thankfully, this is not that far from where we live. It's so far. It's not that far. We got it. <laughs> now we're wheeling a piano down the street. So close. We just have to go up to that intersection, cross the street, go down a little bit, and then that's there. almost oh. there. And there she is. The next step is to wipe it down, get all the dust off of it, and then we need to go rent a sander, right? Yeah. Sand it down. Get We're gonna some... be so butch. <laughs> we got Did some stain. My dad always liked to do house projects and um, would always just have me along, so I learned a lot from him. But I don't think I ever really sanded anything down before and stained it. Uh, so that was a new experience. I spent like all that day just reading online everything I could find about how to stain a piano. So it's safe to say I had no idea what I was doing, but thank God for the internet. Okay, well I spent this morning cleaning the piano and it's looking pretty good. The keys actually are in even better shape. They just like seem to be healing themselves, which I don't understand. But I just made a trip to Lowe's and got all the stuff that we're going to need. I got a purple stain and I'm excited to get to work. Progress update, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Top is coming along already, except I already wore out this first pad and I didn't get any more. Which means we need to run back to the store. Jacob and Kyle made a fucking chicken pesto sandwich. Low. It so hot. Looks so good. Cheesy chicken pesto. Ooh, I can smell it. Just 
Just put on the first coat of stain. It's looking good so far. It is day two of the staining process. And let's see how we're looking. Not bad, honestly. It's looking sort of like brownish purple right now, which obviously is the wood underneath and the fact that there's only a couple um, coats on. But my plan is probably to do at least two more coats this morning. We'll see how it goes. Kyle's just doing the last coat. And then we're done. Well, no. We let the last coat dry for like eight hours, I think, and then we did the, the polyurethane seal, and uh, then it was time to bring it inside. Jacob and I just finished P90X, and the piano is ready to be brought into my room. It is finally happening. Do you have anything that you want the piano to be on? I was thinking about that too, but I don't have anything. Okay. That's so, fine. I mean, maybe eventually I'll get a rug for it and put that underneath it, but. Alright, so we're gonna have to Probably back in go down, down back yeah, in the bottom area. Yeah. Where should I stay inside, please? Push. You're gonna need to lift your wheel. Disappointing change of plans. It does not fit in here through the door, unfortunately. It was so close. It was so close. Like, frustratingly, infuriatingly <laughs> close. So we put it here for now. Yes, I am a little disappointed that the piano is in this room and not in the other room just because I had been really looking forward to it being there in like a weird way. I had kind of already gotten used to it in my mind, but it's starting to grow on me here, so who knows? Maybe maybe it'll stay, maybe we'll find a new place for it. I don't really know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like music, give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in a couple days. Bye.